Hello. Today we we'll talk about Monsoon Sim version 7 budget. Budget is a way for us to measure our performance against what is actually achieved at the end of a certain period. And the variation will tell us if we are good in predicting what will happen or we are not good at doing so. And that comes in the form of variance. So when you have a budgeting system, you like the variance to be as small as possible, which indicates that you are very good at predicting. So to use budget, come to click finance and underneath here, you see budgeting allow, which is defaulted to be no, turn it on. Once it is on, if you look at the player screen, you will have a new menu called budget, which is under the main menu of finance. All right. So if you click on find budget, you will see that there are a lot of sales look very much like an Excel sales, and they are there for you to enter your budget if you are allowed to. For example, the colored boxes, that is something that you can edit. The rest are read only. You cannot do anything. So if you look at this, this is a typical um, main headings for a profit and loss statement. So you have sales revenue, which makes up from, makes up of retail, wholesale services and e-commerce sales. So let's suppose we start a game by having no clue whatsoever as to how our company is going to do. So obviously we won't have a good idea in budgeting, right? Now, suppose we have done this before. So we sort of have an idea of how much we are going to sell and so on. So the learners can practice their budgeting um, concept. So suppose I will, uh, I'm asked to do a budget, then I will say, okay, if I have a sales of say 1 million in retail and in wholesale, I have 200 and in service, I have 500,000 and e-commerce, I have 500,000. That gives us a total sales revenue of 2.2 million budget at the end of Q1, right? By the way, a quarter is 30 days. So therefore, at the end of 30 days, we should see a sales revenue of 2.2 million, which makes, which makes up of these numbers. All right, now that we have the sales part, let's look at our cost part. What are our costs? So imagine that we are going to buy, let's say a $2 million worth of stocks. And at the end of that quarter, our inventory remaining is zero. That means all our purchases have gone to sales. Therefore, our cost of goods sold will be the entire purchases that we have, $2 million, which gives us the trading profit of sales minus cost of goods sold, which is 200. However, if I have inventory, say $500,000 left over, which means that in achieving my sales, I only need to sell one and a half million of goods. Therefore, my cost of goods will be 1.5 million. And therefore, with my sales revenue, then I have trading profit of 700,000. So the student can practice putting all these numbers and try to figure out what is the best way to achieve the net profit, right? So imagine if I need to achieve a net profit of 1 million and I have operating expense, say 500,000, then I'm still way below what I can achieve, what I need to achieve, which is 1 million. So now let's think again, maybe we should aim for a $2 million sales in retail. And that's still not enough because we still have 1.2 million in a net profit. How about we try to sell at 4 million? 
now that looks better. But obviously, to sell 4 million, we have to buy more, isn't it? We cannot buy 2 million, so we need to buy, say, 5 million, or we buy 5 million, and then we'll try to keep some remaining inventory for the next quarter, so we're going to keep 1 million of uh, inventory. So we still $300,000 short. Okay, so now how about we try to achieve $800,000 worth in e-commerce? And obviously, my inventory will go up a bit. Sorry, sorry, my procurement will have to go up a bit. Let's say we're going to buy $6,000 worth of goods. And I want to keep, let's say, $1.5 million for the next quarter. Which means that this is my inventory remaining for the next quarter. Okay. So by massaging these numbers, I can finally come to a number that I am I can commit to. So here I have a number of 500,000 that I can commit to, which is not exactly 1 million, but let's see how it goes. Okay? Because this is what the, this is the numbers that I'm com most comfortable with. So if I accept these numbers, then it will submit it to the system and the system will keep track of this quarter one budget. Okay, now a few things to note. First of all, every quarter is 30 days and budgeting will close on the 10th day of every quarter, which means that for the next 30 days, I have the first 10 days that I can come and massage these numbers and change these numbers. Okay. And after that 10 day, the rest of the 20 day of that quarter, I cannot change anymore. So I have to commit to that number. So this gives the student a 10 day window for them to look at the number, the actual number, which will show up here and change the number accordingly before the budgeting quarter ends, the budget window ends. Once it ends, then I cannot change it anymore. Then I have to look at the variance. The variance will be the difference between the actual and the budget in terms of percentage. If it is minus, that means we are below budget. If it is over, that means we are too much. We have budgeted for too much. Okay. And that's all to it to budgeting. Now, if we run this game, you will see that my actuals numbers start to come in. There you go. So on the first day, I'm selling retail of 334,000. Okay, so obviously, we are still way below because we are, it's a 30 day budget. Right now, it's only day one, day two. Okay, so we keep monitor this until the end of the quarter. Now, at the same time, before the 10th day, I still can come in and change my number if I feel like, right? I can keep changing these numbers uh, and try to do it before the budget window close, which is the 10th day. So in the context of gaming, we need to look at who among the students are able to do the best budgeting by best budgeting it means that the variance must be the smallest okay so if the learners can meet this target obviously they're very good at uh, keeping the inventory for the next quarter and they need to watch their spending and they need to drive their sales so budgeting is a good practice for learners to learn more about the whole operation of the business. And when you have the budget, you will see that the budget KPI is showing up here. Okay. The stars indicate that there's way of budget. Yeah. Either way below or way over. It doesn't matter anymore because it's way off. So what we really need, what we really need to pay attention to is the one that is still under 100. Okay. Now 
for example, it's trading profits minus one, which means we are right on target. Okay, so that is the explanation for monsoon budget.